Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Today we have Mr. Adnan Ahmed with us, who is an assistant performance manager at SNC Lavalin. He'll be discussing with us about the scope of engineering and design in Canada, as well as about the engineering management program. So, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Now, let's begin. Hello, Adnan. Welcome to Mindment Discussions. Hello. Hello, Ashi and Sakshi. Today we'll be discussing with you the scope of engineering and design in Canada, as well as about the engineering management program and your overall journey as an international student in Canada. So we'll start now. Yeah. So just to start the discussion, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Adnan, and I'm an instrumentation engineer by profession. I did my engineering from Kolkata, that is my hometown. And after that, I moved to Mumbai. That was my first job. I worked over there for a year. And then I moved to Dubai. Uh, over there, I was working as an instrumentation engineer uh, in the oil and gas industry. So my overall background uh, is into oil and gas industry. Then um, I moved to Canada. I pursued my master's in engineering management. And um, I completed it last year in no no November 2019. And I then I started working in SNC Lavalin as an assistant performance manager. Looking at your experience of many years, we would like to know uh, what this engineering management program is about. Sure, engineering management is a blend of management as well as engineering courses. So it gives you an uh, exposure to what management aspect would would be. Uh, someone with an experience of uh, let's say for five years and above would get to know the management side because he has been he or she has been working in the engineering sectors and they know the engineering part of it. So for them, it will be a good exposure from the management side, while at the same time keeping your engineering profile intact. So why did you choose engineering management program and what all things attracted you in this program? Uh, uh, first of all, I never wanted to leave my engineering background. So for me, uh, going to some other uh, program would have been difficult and that was never my first choice. So uh, with this program, the best part was I can stick to my engineering field uh, while at the same time I can go and progress to the management uh, positions. So that was that's one of the main reasons why I chose this program. Now coming to the uh, second part of your question, which is about which courses did, did I take and how did it help me? Uh, for engineering management program, uh, there were courses like the pro project management, so these courses are the ones which help you get the edu educational credentials when it comes to having your PMP certification done. Because having your certification in Canada is very important. They look for it when you are applying for jobs. So these are some of the courses. Apart from that, accounting and finance are some of the courses which are really helpful when you are doing your engineering management program. It gives you an insight of the financial aspect, how you choose the project, on what basis like the NPV and there are various factors which they uh, teach you about selecting a project. So that's important when you're still in the engineering sector. So like, why didn't you choose NB over EMP? Well, um, as I said, first reason is to stick to my engineering program, uh, engineering field. And then apart from that, um, MBA is more costly as well. They need a GMAT score. And then I was not having my GMAT. I didn't have that. so. My first choice was again yeah, to apply for engineering management program and uh, look for something which gives me an aspect and insight of management. Okay, so uh, can I ask you what's the scope of engineering and design in Canada? Uh, engineering and design as an overall field is very good in Canada. There are various companies in Canada all over the provinces. So uh, to name a few, just uh, first of all is my company that I'm working with, SNC Lavalin. Apart from that, there is Jacobs, Worley Parson is also there, then Floor is also there, and uh, Hatch is also there. So these are all multinational companies, uh, which gives you an opportunity to work in Canada, as well as if you want to move to some other countries, they will let you uh, relocate as well, while working for the same company. Uh, okay, and like how this EMP program gets synced with this discipline? Uh, it, it gives you an insight of the management. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's not such that it will definitely like boost your career in such a way that you can just just like MBA. It totally allows you to change your domain. But with engineering management, you have to stick to your domain first of all. Uh, while at the same time, as I said, the courses like uh, pro uh, project management helps you in taking the PMP courses, the project management professional certifications. 
so that is where it helps in getting you a job so that's how it helps okay and you talked about some companies so mm -hmm. in which cities uh, do you recommend that uh, like what's the scope uh, so it, it depends what background are you from let's say i'm from the oil and gas industry so if i want to stick to the oil and gas industry i would like to go to uh, british columbia or alberta or saskatchewan these are the provinces where, wherein oil and gas is uh, much uh, the opportunity for the you is more now if you want to go to someone who is from the software background or the in uh, IT background for them it's Ottawa is good because Ottawa and Ontario are good for software industries okay okay uh, now we want to ask you about the different universities in which pro this program is being offered uh, first is University of Ottawa where I studied from then you have uh, University of Victoria then British Columbia University of Alberta is also there then um, uh, University of Windsor is there. So a lot of uh, universities are there in Canada which offers this program. Okay. So, and a last question, I guess, would be, uh, do you recommend engineering program, engineering management program to the students who are coming here or would you recommend MBA to them or they should go for engineering management? What's your advice on it? Uh, I would say, uh, those who have experienced more than five years, they can opt for either engineering management or MBA. Uh, but those with uh, less than five years or four years experience, I would uh, still recommend going for MBA. And especially if you want to change your domain. So, uh, because engineering management doesn't allow you to change your domain. But however, at the same time, MBA does allow you to change your domain to finance or other sectors. Right. And apart from that, um, you need to choose which university you're going to do it from. So, because uh, university plays an important role uh, for a program that such as engineering management, if there are co-op opportunities there, then definitely it helps you a lot in landing a job. So, uh, if I ask you whether this program uh, helped you getting a full-time job here, what would you say? I would say yes to some extent because uh, there were some of the things that I learned during this uh, program which I implemented during my interview, and I I tried to show them that. This is what is there in my uh, background. Okay, so are there any part-time jobs also in this domain or they are just full-time? No, it's it's mostly full-time. Otherwise, there are internship and co-op opportunities. So it's very important that you, have, uh, that you look for program like engineering management, look for universities which are offering you co-op opportunities. Because in summer term, you have a lot of co-op coming for a lot of industries like Imperial Oil is there. Then uh, CNRL, which is the Canadian National Resource, they have the co-op opportunities. It's for four months or eight months, depending on how your program is. So you're recommending that co-op is important? Co-op is very important, yeah. So, yeah. so how did you brush up your skills uh, during, like, were you doing any part-time or you, how did you improve your skills for getting a job? by doing your masters? Uh, mostly I focus with respect to the project management side. I try to get as much as uh, information or as much knowledge that I can get from the course while uh, studying my masters and uh, that helped me in uh, landing my first job. Oh, yeah. Do you recommend any certifications apart from PMP? That it's, it, can... Yes, uh, if you are uh, looking for something in engineering which asks you to uh, sign the documents, be professional engineering is one of the key uh, important license that you need to have otherwise you won't be able to land a job as easily as others can have. Okay, I think that's from our side. Thank you Adnan so much Thank for you, discussing Thank you, some important points with us.